Good morning, friends. We are at the Minnesota State Fair today. Today we're going to try all the official new foods for 2023, including seven new vendors. That's 39 in total. It should be a long, filling day, so stick around. Our first stop is Hamlin Church Dining Hall for their Holy Ham Loaf Breakfast Sandwich. And that is ham loaf, tangy glaze, caramelized onions, cheese, and egg in the hole toast. This looks really good. Let's give it a try. Mm. Wow. That is so good. That is absolutely ridiculously good. It's super savory with the ham loaf. It's like, I don't know, kind of sausagey, I guess. And the caramelization and the tangy sauce just add this sort of sweetness. Mm. It is the perfect savory start to the day. This is an absolute win. I'd, I'd easily rate this five out of five. Also from Hamlin Church Dining Hall, we got their paletas. We got a dill pickle lemonade and a mini donut. Let's start with the dill pickle. Ooh, that packs quite the pickle punch. It's even got full pickles in there. Let's even get some of that. Strange combination. A little bit sour from the lemonade and that pickle is very strong it's a pretty good combination actually it's kind of weird it's a little bit salty a little bit sweet I'd probably give it maybe a three out of five let's do the mini donut I'm sure this one will be good uh, it's vanilla ice cream with like mini donut pieces and even a mini, full mini donut inside it mm. Wow It's so creamy and soft, and then the mini donut even, still soft. You wouldn't believe it. This is a five out of five. If you like pickles, you're gonna like this one. Next we're at French Meadow Bakery to try two of their new foods. They have the sweet corn bassant and the everything bagel bassant. And a bassant is supposedly a cross between a bagel and a croissant. The, we'll start with the sweet corn bassant. It, is supposed to have crunchy caramel corn on top, but we got none of that, so points already deducted. Let's see if it can make up for it in the taste test. This is supposed to be filled with a sweet corn custard. I don't see a whole lot. It's okay. Is it better than a bagel on its own? No. Is it better than a croissant on its own? Also no. Would I choose to buy this again? No. It does have that sweet corn element to it. Like, you, it does taste corny. There's not a whole lot of filling. I can't even see it on the inside. I'd probably give this one a two, honestly. I have low hopes for the next one, but let's try this one. The Everything Bagel Bassant is filled with a scallion cream cheese, and it has Everything Bagel seasoning on it. Well, this one was already much better than the first one. The problem is that the cream cheese is in the very center of it, so you don't get any of it in the exterior bites. So I'm gonna give it one more try. Pretty good. I think I'd give it a three. Average, nothing to write home about, but it's pretty nice. It's got a good savory taste. Up next, we stopped at Oodles and Noodles, got the deep fried Butternut squash ravioli with, uh, it's got a maple cinnamon sugar topping and whipped ricotta. A little dip. Ooh. Feels like Thanksgiving. Tastes like, kind of like a pumpkin pie. The cinnamon sugar definitely carries this one. It's pretty good, not fantastic. I'd maybe give it like a, maybe a two out of five. Our next stop is Afro Deli. They are a new vendor this year. Their food is not on the official new food list, but they are a new vendor, so we're giving them a shot. We got the chicken sambusa, and it comes with a marinated jalapeno garlic dipping sauce. So let's give this a shot. Mmm, that is so good. It's very spicy. Not like overly, like spicy for Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> the filling is very good, very filled, very nice. 
soft, tender dough, so much flavor. And there's like some greens and vegetables. This is super good. I think maybe like four out of five. Very good. It also comes in veggie and beef, and beef is the OG, so maybe give that one a shot if you can. And to go with it, we got the Somali spiced tea. Wow. Wow. That is is very spiced. It's like giving me hits of clove and cinnamon. This is really good, really refreshing. Absolutely. I think this is also four out of five. So this is a winner from Afrodeli. Next up, we got the Crunchy Balboa from the Herbivorous Butcher. Everything they do is vegan. This is a deep fried tortilla filled with vegan roast beef and bacon, cheese sauce, peppers and onions, and a hash brown. That's a lot. <laughs> and it's a big one. That's hot temperature wise. There's a lot of flavors going on here. Still tastes meaty even though it's vegan. You can really taste those onions. It also comes with a uh, seasoned sour cream. Mm, that's some nice fresh flavor to it. I'd probably give this, I don't know, three and a half out of five. Next, we've got the Miami Mango Pickle from Soul Bowl. It is a pickle infused with Miami Mango Punch. I don't know. <laughs> I do like pickles. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Not doing it for you. That is a really confusing flavor. It's like dill pickle, but it's also sweet, like a sweet bread and butter pickle, which I'm not a fan of. But it's also mango. I think this is a one, sorry. <laughs> I would not eat this again. Next on the lineup, we stopped at Sarah's Tipsy Pies for the Italian Duo Dunkers. We got one that's pepperoni, sausage, and cheese in a red wine infused pizza sauce and a chicken, mushroom, and spinach in a garlic Alfredo sauce. Let's try this red sauce one. That's pretty flavorful pizza. Can't say I'm tasting the red wine. The outside isn't as crispy as you'd expect it to be. It's actually kind of soft. Very tasty though, nice and buttery. Tastes like pizza. Let's try the other one. A little more mild flavor is expected with the white sauce, just not nearly as much punch and flavor. The exterior is still just a little bit too soft, you know, not, could be a little crispier. Not quite as good as the red sauce one, but overall I think I'll give these a three out of five. Next up we came to the International Bazaar for several new foods, and the first stop is Union Mung Kitchen. We got the Gallabao, and it is huge, my goodness. This thing is filled with pork, an egg, and spices, and it comes with a spicy chili sauce. So let's dig in. <laughs> that was mostly dough. The dough is very soft, mild, pillowy, kind of sweet. Very good dough. Let's, and I got just a hint of the filling. Let's see if I can get in there and really taste it. Wow, that is really good. The pork is well seasoned, not really spicy, very mild. And the egg is this delicious creaminess to it. I love it. Yum. I bet it's really good with this sauce though. So let's dig in. Look at that sauce. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. The sauce makes it for sure. This is very good. This is definitely a four out of five. Now we're at Holy Land for the basil hummus with a spicy walnut topping. Mm. Very crunchy. It's got some nice fresh flavor. Not too heavy on the heat. It's pretty light for that. Very refreshing. I'd probably give that about a four out of five. Very good. Next up, we went to the Midtown Global Market booth, which right now has Momodosa, a new vendor of the fair this year. And they also have an official new food on the list. We got the chicken Momo here, which is a chicken dumpling with chicken, cabbage, onion, and other things like spices. <laughs> <laughs> It looks very good, and it comes with a dipping sauce. Let's give it a try. Mm. 
That's okay. I mean, it's very flavorful. The chicken is very well seasoned, nice and spicy, kind of curry, maybe a little bit of lemongrass in there. Very flavorful, and the sauce is like a tomato curry. It's, it's tasty, but it's also cold, so it's a little underwhelming. I think it'd be better if it were steaming hot. That, that would be really good. I think I'd give this a three out of five. And because they're a new vendor this year, it wouldn't be right if we didn't try a second thing. So we got the veggie pakora. It's onion and cabbage deep fried in a chickpea batter. And it comes with a mint chutney sauce and a tamarind chutney sauce as well. So let's give that a try. Oh my gosh. Some of these are huge. Wow. Let's give it a shot. Mmm, that's very nice. The mint is very refreshing actually it's a cold sauce and the vegetables are not exactly the hottest thing but it's nice and crispy it's very refreshing surprisingly for a deep fried thing that's very good i'm going to try the tamarind chutney now mm. it's got a little sweetness to it no heat whatsoever in either of these seasonings overall very good i give this a three Maybe four. It's above average. Three and a half. Well, the time has come. This is a very controversial new food. It's the Ludafis Tacos from Shanghai Henry's. <laughs> and I can say I can already smell it. <laughs> They're quite big, too, and there's a lot in here. There's a sourness to it, which I think is from the sauce, but also does not pair well with the fish. There's not much that's well-rounded about this. It's gonna to have to be a one out of five. It's a steam bun filled with cabbage, and the lutefisk is in a hoisin sauce. The sauce is definitely on the sweet side. Wasn't quite what I was expecting for a hoisin sauce. I don't know, it's just not great. I have low hopes, especially based on Jeremy's reaction when he took his first bite. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Next up, we've got the bacon wrapped waffle dog from Nordic Waffles. This thing is pretty intense. It's a Polish sausage wrapped in bacon with crispy fried onions, pickles, and cheese in a Norwegian waffle. It looks insane. <laughs> so let's give it a try. It's gonna be a big bite. Mm. Wow, that is interesting. <laughs> uh, the sausage has a good snap to it. It's got this nice savory flavor. It's got a sort of sweet and savory thing because the waffle is really deliciously sweet, but in a mild sweet way, if that makes any sense at all. And then you've got savoriness of sausage and bacon and then just a pop of dill pickle. It's really surprising and pretty good. The waffle's a little underdone for my personal preference, <laughs> but I think it's still a four out of five for me. The other new food that we're trying at Nordic Waffle is dill pickle lemonade. A little interesting concept, but we had it earlier in the dill pickle lemonade paletta from Hamlin Church Dining Hall and that was pretty good, so I have an open mind about this and I like pickles. interesting also interesting it's very pickle forward <laughs> <laughs> it's very refreshing the sun is coming out it's you know how powerade has a little bit of saltiness to it it's like that but also with an undertone of pickle i'm not mad at it you know this is probably a four out of five for me after a very long wait we finally got cheesecake curds from lulu's public house it's got some deep fried cheesecake curds with a little strawberry sauce i think it is Good sauce. Tastes like fried cheesecake. <laughs> the, the curd is pretty basic on its own, but this sauce really makes it. That's a good four out of five. We also got the Fruity Cereal Milk Biscuit. One of their biscuits covered in a cereal milk glaze and uh, fruity pebbles. 
Hopefully this fork works. I might just have to pick it up. Oh no, it's crumbly. Mm. If you like Fruity Pebbles, you're sure to like this one. Yeah. Pretty tasty. Also a four out of five. Our last stop in the West End is the Blue Barn and we got the hot honey cheese sticks. It's deep fried halloumi cheese with hot honey and honeycomb cereal. It looks really good. Let's give it a shot. Well, that's different. I really wanted to love it. It's got quite a punch of heat. My tongue is like borderline on fire. I almost need to dig into this slushy right next to me. Um, that was very chewy. I think they've been sitting around a while. I was hoping for something a little warmer, a little easier to chew. I was disappointed. It's uh, got quite a kick to it. Very sticky, so be prepared with some wet wipes or something. It is good, but I don't think I'd pay $11 for it. You get quite a lot of it, which is awesome if you really enjoy it. But I think, I'd say maybe, honestly, two and a half. It's not even average. It's just, like, these are too chewy. It's not great. But we did get one other thing. We got this Buzz and Blue Fruit Punch. It is a, an alcoholic frozen slushy type thing and it looks really good and hopefully it'll be cooling the tingling sensation that is in my mouth right now. Ooh, wow, that is good. It definitely has that alcohol flavor to it. That is for sure. There is there is no shortage of alcohol in this thing, but oh man, on a hot summer day, this is really hitting the spot. This is a four out of five and that wraps it up for us at the West End. Our next food is from RC's Barbecue. It's the Maui Soda Sticky Ribs. It's uh, St. Louis style ribs with uh, sticky huli huli sauce, fur kake, green onions, and cilantro. It looks good and it smells good. Mm. Wow. Mm. It has some insanely good ribs. And that sauce, super savory, a little sweetness, maybe a little bit of heat. This is very good. This is definitely a five out of five. We have Irish butter ice cream with cinnamon toast from the Blue Moon Diner. This looks pretty good. Irish butter is literally just like butter from Ireland. <laughs> but I mean, European butter is pretty good stuff. So they turned it into ice cream. Let's give it a try. Look at that. Oh, this looks good. This is honestly really, really good. Surprisingly so. Butter ice cream sounds disgusting. But when you think about it, it's just like sweet cream ice cream. How is that any different than butter ice cream? You know, it's a little bit salty. It is perfect. This is a five out of five for sure. Okay, next we're at Cafe Caribe. We got the loaded lobster fries. And man, this looks like a lot of food. <laughs> we got lobster on top of fries with a chipotle mayo, we got bacon, green onions, and Old Bay seasoning, as well as some lemons you can squeeze on top. Let's get a little bit of everything if we can. Difficult. Those fries are buried. Wow. Holy cow. That's more than I can eat, I think. Mm. Wow, very good. The flavor of lobster gets lost a little bit. A lot of flavors with the chipotle mayo. I'm not sure if you know there's lobster in here. Definitely get your money's worth though with this with this big bowl of food. I'd say this gets, that's hard. Let's say three and a half out of five. We got the donut delights from Coasters. They are mini donuts that have been wrapped in bacon and deep fried and then topped with a peanut butter and jelly sauce. Oh no, I think the bacon is wrapped around two donuts. Oh no. That's not going to be easy for me. <laughs> I have a problem chewing things. All right, here we go. Oh. 
Wow. Woo. That's very hot. My mouth is very sticky right now. I mean, like, initially it's really good, but it's super doughy and kind of like a little bit gloppy. Not from the peanut butter, but from the mini donuts themselves. They like soaked up all of the grease and oil that they were deep fried in. So I think I'd give this a pass for sure. I mean, I mean the peanut butter, the jelly, the bacon, the mini donuts, it's a good thought, but as you can see, it's very messy and it was a real glop to eat. So I'd maybe give it a two. Next up, the Bee Sting Sundae from Bridgman's Ice Cream. It's uh, vanilla ice cream, hot honey, spicy peanuts, whipped cream, and cherry. Interesting combination. Mm. It's hard to detect the other flavors. I feel like it's gonna be a building heat. I'm gonna try another bite. Oh, that spice is hitting me. It's kind of like a, a hidden slow heat that builds. It hits you after the ice cream leaves your mouth. So don't eat too many of the peanuts all at once. The honey, I feel like I taste more sweetness than spiciness, but it could be hard because the peanuts are also spicy. Oh. <coughs> there it is, <coughs> late heat. Overall though, I think I'd get this a four out of five. It's a good combination of sweet and spicy. Next up, we've got the dill pickle cheese curd tacos from Richie's Cheese Curd Tacos. And it's a deep fried shell with cheese curds, cream cheese, pickles, lettuce, and a raspberry sauce. Very interesting combination. I'm not sure about this, but we'll give it a shot. You know, that's really good. It actually works. <laughs> the shell's got a good crunch. So do the pickles. Cheese curds are well done. And they were nice and stringy too. And it's got like this creaminess from the cheese curds and the cream cheese. And this acidity from the pickles. And a weird sweetness from the raspberry sauce that all just works so well together. You know, I, I'm not sure it's a five, but it's definitely a four and a half. Our next stop was Sabino's Pizza Pies in the Coliseum to get the soda cutery board. It's got a um, mixture of it's got a mixture of meats and cheeses, all locally made in Minnesota. Let's check it out. We got like a sausage here with some cheese in it. it looks like mm, that's some high quality meat. Now for the board that's made of cracker. Nice and crispy. Pretty good. Good quality stuff. When it comes to state fair food, I'd probably give this like a three out of five. It's just average. We came to Tasty Whip, a new vendor at the State Fair. Not officially on the new foods list, but we couldn't pass this up. This is Pineapple Dole Whip, and it looks incredible. Wow. That is exactly what I needed on this hot summer day creamy, pineapple fresh. This is incredible, absolutely. I think this is a five out of five, for sure. Now we're at Brim. We got their jam nades, which are lemonades with different types of jam and then other, other mix-ins. So this one is strawberry and jalapeno. This is blueberry and mint. I'll start with the strawberry and jalapeno, maybe a little spicy. It's kind of like boba, but you got some slimy strawberry coming through the straw, so it's interesting. Very tasty though, very strong fruity flavor. Um, I don't get any of the jalapeno, I'm guessing I'd have to eat that separately in order to get that flavor. Probably needs to steep a little longer. Let's try the blueberry mint. Nice squishy blueberries coming through that straw. Blueberries are a little more mild than strawberries, so a little less flavorful on that side. I don't really get any of the mint again. Maybe I'll eat the leaf. <laughs> Overall though, I'd probably give these a four out of five each. 
This is not an official new food of the fair, but it is from a new vendor. We went to Churros and Aguas Fresca and we got a filled churro. It is filled with Nutella and this thing looks incredible. Let's go. Mmm. Wow, that is really good. That is crunchy, crispy, warm. The Nutella is, is melty and chocolatey. It is like the perfect fair food. It is the, it's a great dessert for the fair, absolutely. Cinnamon, sugar, chocolate, what more could you want? I think this is a four out of five. Our next stop was at Baba's and we got the El Taco Baba. It's a hummus with harissa barbacoa, uh, some traditional toppings and some fresh pita. Looks good. Mmm. Wow, that hummus is super creamy. Probably the creamiest hummus I've ever had. Very good. And that meat, super tender. So flavorful. This is probably the best hummus I've ever had. This is definitely at least a four out of five. We are nearing the home stretch. <laughs> we have 10 to go. So number 10, we have walleye fritter pops from Giggles. These are made with walleye, cheese, pickle relish, and garlic and other things. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a comeback dipping sauce. Let's give it a try. Mm. That's really good. The sauce has a little bit of a kick to it, nice and creamy. The walleye pops are very smooth and creamy, surprisingly creamy for what they are. I guess there's quite a bit of cheese in there maybe, but they're really good. I think I'd give them a three and a half. <laughs> Better than average, but not quite a four. Well, Jeremy made a real mess out of this thing, <laughs> but it's the cheese curd filled pizza pretzel from Green Mill. Let's give it a shot. I don't see any cheese curds in there, but it's got a good pizza taste. This is the peanut butter cream donut from Peachy's Bakery. You weren't kidding, this thing is amazing. That donut is so fresh and soft. And the whipped cream and the peanut butter cream, this is the perfect combination. For a little refreshment, we went to Spinning Wild. They got the Cloud Coolers. We got two of their three flavors. We got Summer Strawberry, I think is what it's called, and, and Happy Huckleberry. Um, this one is Strawberry Lemonade with, with Strawberry Cotton Candy. And this one is Huckleberry Lemonade with, with Blackberry Cotton Candy. <laughs> Okay, let's try these. Let's try this drink first. Oh wow, very strong strawberry flavor there. Let's try this. Very complimentary. Let's try this huckleberry lemonade. I don't know if I've ever had, ever had huckleberry before, so I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but it tastes very good. And blackberry. Wow, that's actually a stronger flavor than the strawberry. Both of these are very good, definitely a five out of five. We came to Wow Fudge. It's not an official new food of the fair, but it is a brand new vendor, and they have over 70 flavors of fudge to try. And we've got strawberry rhubarb, which is a flavor that they created just for the Minnesota State Fair. So we couldn't resist trying this. Mmm. Wow, that is exactly strawberry rhubarb and it melts in your mouth. It's not overly sweet. This is a good fudge. With over 70 flavors, there is absolutely something for everyone. They even have pickle flavor and peanut butter pickle flavor, which I'm skeptical of. <laughs> but there is something for everyone and this is easily four out of five. Well, we came to the Farmers Union for probably our most anticipated food of the fair, the Fried green tomato BLT sandwich. Looks really good. It's got uh, fried green tomatoes, bacon, uh, some kind of mayo, lettuce, on a nice little bun. <laughs> and it's all locally made and grown. That's a good combo. Like a little BLT, but the tea is green. There's nice fresh ingredients. 
perfectly put together. It's definitely a five out of five. We have dill pickle fries from Mike's. They look really good and they're hot and fresh. Let's give them a try. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you like dill pickles, you're gonna love these. They are battered, and that batter has a bit of a kick to it. Oh my gosh, it is good. These are spicy, crunchy, perfectly fried, and they come with a dipping sauce. Let's try that out. These are amazing. These are a five out of five for sure. Oh my gosh, I love them. While we're on the final stretch, we stopped at Mini Apple Pie for the Mini Cookie Dough Pie with Vanilla Ice Cream. Looks really stuffed. Ooh. Oh, it's crumbly. Oh no, it's gonna fall apart in my hands. Ah. Wow, very chocolatey. Very doughy. Crumbly on the outside. I'm sure it's great with ice cream, but it's hard to eat this with a fork. Try to get a little bit of that dough on its own, maybe. That's good stuff. I'm gonna definitely give this a four. It could be a five, but it's just not quite there. Only two to go. And number two is the lemon sorbet from Quenched. This looks really good and I'm still hot, so I hope it's gonna be very refreshing. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is sweet, but tart. Not overwhelmingly sweet, and it packs a punch. It, it tastes so fresh. It is, it's really good. I'm gonna give that a five out of five. That is, it's light, refreshing. I could eat this all day. We made it to our final stop of the day. It's been a really long day and we've eaten a lot of food. But this is definitely probably the sweetest thing we've gotten. We stopped at the mini donut and cheese curd stand and got birthday cake mini donuts. I'm definitely gonna love these. I'm not sure about Karin, but let's get into this. Look at that. Mm. Wow, that's a sugar load right there. They said this was made with real uh, cake batter, I think. It definitely tastes like it. For me, that's a five out of five. We'll see what Karin thinks. This bucket is insane. We did not understand the sizing and pricing when we got there. We kind of panicked. <laughs> and we have clearly a very large bucket, but this is apparently the medium size, which it boggles my mind. How is that possible? Well, like Jeremy said, these might not be my favorite, <laughs> but I'll give them a shot. I do like cake batter, but I'm not a big fan of overly sweet things. Here I go. Mm. That's really good. For me, I'd say maybe a four out of five, not a five out of five, but still very good. Wow, it's been a long day. Oh yeah. But we have a top five. If you come to the fair and you think your taste buds are similar to ours, then you should try the pickle fries. The holy ham loaf breakfast sandwich. The quenched lemonade sorbet. The Maui soda ribs. And the huckleberry lemonade at Spinning Wild. It's a long day. We have been awake for way too long and on our feet for way too long. Yep. We are calling it a night. Thank you for sticking around and we will see you in the next one. This is a test. What? This is a test. Our first stop is... We've got the sweet, what is it? Sweet corn basant. We've got the sweet corn, it's crunchy though, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Up next, we went to Oodles of Noodles, got the fried, what was it? Deep fried. Okay. Next, we've got the Miami, Miami. Next on the lineup, we stopped at Serious Tipsy Pies. We got the Inta Ita Italian? Um, what kind of sauce is it? It's onion and cabbage deep, fl deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> That was very good. <laughs> we got this bluz, bluzen. What is it called? What? Churros. Churros and aguas fresca. Okay, kind of wiggles on the skewer. 